Today is part of my Christmas series and I'll be doing a tablescape and decorating a baker's rack. This is part of a collaboration and the host is Amethyst Adventures and the Grace Life DIY. And I just love seeing all this Christmas scenery and we're getting ready for the holiday season. So I hope you enjoy my tablescape and decorate with me with my baker's rack. With all that being said, let's begin. Here we go. So I really wanted a dough bowl because I knew you could do many different things with it for decorating. Now I'm gonna make an inexpensive centerpiece for my table. So I'm starting off with greenery and I'm gonna do this with a Christmas look and I'm laying it on each end and hanging it off of the edge of the dough bowl. Now I'm gonna add another pick with berries and a pine cone. I'm gonna mix it in there and one on each side. And I know the stickers on that one there still have to peel it off, but you won't see it when I do this. Next, I'm gonna add some silver poinsettias and I'll be covering that in. And I'm gonna add a deer and I'll show you how that looks when it's finished. Okay, so that's how it looks. So what I did is I placed a silver poinsettia and this beautiful deer in the middle and I placed one on this side. So it makes a really pretty inexpensive centerpiece. Now let's move on to the table. Finishing touches, matting fairy lights to my photo folders. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to decorate my baker's rack. Here is my fall pumpkin pillow cover and I'm changing it to a white fur pillow cover. And it's an easy way to change your look for pillows and it saves money and storage. So here's the piece I'm gonna be using and this is what it looks like after. I love it, it's a nice soft fur pillow. That'll be on the bottom of my baker's rack. So I really wanna show these adorable little mini poinsettias that I got these picks. And what I'm gonna do is cut one up and just use like little strands to add some pops of blue to my display. It's not only a way to add some pops of blue, but it's also a budget friendly way when you can really stretch a pick and use it just to add some pops of color to your decor. So I'm gonna work on that now and add it to the display using my little dog nail clippers. So I just want to show you how many little pieces of floral. One, two, three, four, five, six, six from this little stem here. When I'm adding these in, I do want to try to turn the front of this to show the little gold detail on the flowers. 
Okay, so I'm placing these bottle brush trees on mirrors to add a little interest, but to bring some of this blue down here and to hide this wood branch, which I really don't want to show for this display, I popped the tops off of these picks and I'm gonna surround the stem with these. Whoops, dropped it, I'll put it back. So this is how that turned out once I added them. And I think that looks adorable, a little simple detail to really dress up this bottle brush tree. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed both of my displays. And I'd like to thank Courtney and Anna for hosting this Tablescape Tuesdays. And I encourage you to check out all their channels and all the other wonderful creators in this collaboration. They really do some beautiful tablescapes. I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.